Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part one. However we want to do it in German speaking world that is one and the English speaking world this is one. <laughs> this is two and this is me being confused but part one of the Premier League jersey review. Uh, I have to say before we get into it I just realized when I compiled the jerseys and looked at the, all the suppliers and so on the Premier League is exceptionally diverse uh, this season. Yes, of course, the big guys um, have more than one team. Uh, speaking in, in the English case, it is Nike, Adidas, Puma, and of course, Umbro. But we have also other brands thrown in, and this makes actually this review quite, quite interesting. I also think that this season um, there will be also quite some diversity in grades there with some, from what I could see, some interesting, some kind of weird uh, ones. I've so far, spoiler alert, only seen one team that really, where I really like the entire set um, throughout. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, I played a whole lot around with the background uh, yesterday when I was uh, making this preparing this video, uh, this video, I mentioned it already in the uh, short um, video that I made for the Liverpool jersey. But yeah, uh, too much talking, it will anyway be a long video, so we might as well get into it. First of all, how did I choose the teams in this video? I know I have to say this every single time, because uh, just to make sure that everyone understands, uh, I have taken the last season standing, and then I went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. So of course I want to make four videos, with five teams each. And every team with a one next to it that, that you can see is in this video. And then I sorted them alphabetically where we'll start with Arsenal for A. And gotta say, Arsenal is one of those weird sets that Adidas released. And I have to say, I mean, Arsenal Adidas in the first season was great. Last season, I think I could get, get, get on board with most of these. Now we have this home shirt that for some reason reminds me of the f first or second Nike home shirt. I think it was the second one. Where you know you have those navy accents that kind of... I know Adidas had these as well. But for me it became really prominent with uh, Nike. But what's more, and you cannot really really see this in the, in the picture, the sides here are white, which to me is not a typical Arsenal look. I mean, Ar Arsenal has such a unique, um, unique look with the white sleeves. And yes, I really like this Aston Villa shirt where it also has the sleeves uh, different and it shouldn't extend. But for me, for Arsenal, it's even a little bit uh, worse there. But I think this is not the biggest uh, gripe that I have with this one. I think my biggest gripe is that you have the white sleeves, you have the white sides and then everything in the middle is red and I don't like this darkness around the collar. I actually think a white collar could have done, uh, you know, um, make the center not as dark, especially the top. It's kind of a little bit hidden away and add to it that it's a weird collar and I'm getting a little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's not as crazy as last season, I like the overall plain look, but it doesn't really connect with me. Let's put it that way. So I'm gonna give this seven uh, stars and we'll move on to the away jersey where there's so much to like here. Absolutely so much to like uh, with the cannon on there. We are back with a yellow away shirt with navy accents, which is something that I really like. So uh, also classic Adidas look. So many things to love here. But there's one thing I do not love, and that's the choice of color. And it's kind of funny because for Milan, uh, who has chosen this season a similar color, I actually do like it somewhat because it's something different. But for Arsenal, I don't know it. I I don't know. I and I saw it even today when I'm shoot, uh, on the day I'm sure shooting at Ars Arsenal played at Leicester. I have to say I it doesn't look Arsenal enough for me. But as I said, there's so much to like. I really like the single cannon on there, which uh, really reminds me of the 80s in many, in, in many ways. Also, the um, template is, re is really nice. I'm going to give it, despite the color, I mean, I'm really thinking to also go seven, but I think I like uh, the individual bits a little bit uh, better. So I'm going to give this eight. Um, also, one downer here is, of course, uh, the sponsor, because Emirates Fly Better. Fly Emirates was a wonderful sponsor, one that I loved. The fly better? No, it is not a good sponsor. 
And then the third jersey. Another one where why is Adidas going back to the first Nike designs with the kind of uh, blue lightning bolts that I did not get. I know many people really, really, really like this shirt when it came, came, came out and I first thought, yeah, this looks interesting. And then you look closer and I find this one of the laziest designs out there. Why? This is last season's Ajax Away shirt where they put the lightning bolts over. It's the exact same pattern they just put lightning bolts over. Come on, come on, do something. Uh, this to me is absolutely lazy and it's not an improvement. I, I, I actually what the Ajax Away jersey had was kind of something special. Yes, you get here a little bit, but, but the whole effect is kind of uh, lost. Um, and so, yeah, and then, um, yeah, I, I, I mean, the interesting part is the Adidas logo in red and uh, white, which is kind of cool, but to me, uh, uh, everything gets a little a little bit lost there. This uh, wild design, and I can see how many people will like this. It's not for me. I actually, uh, this is one of those where I, that I really do not like, and I'm going to go for stars here. Might be harsh, but uh, yeah, four stars, I think is just for the laziness of it all to be honest okay then we move on to the south coast another team that had a good showing today with brighton um nike template uh in stripes it's not a bad template i gotta say uh and i think it looks over all right i think there's not much that i can fault it with except maybe for the box uh, where, you know, I would have liked it better if American Express would just go um, with a white outline and then it goes over the stripes, but I guess even the template allows for, um, the template has the box in there. But other than that, even the sponsor, I mean, yes, maybe a darker blue would look even better, but overall this is rather solid, rather good. Um, so even for a template, I think I like it. I'm gonna go seven. I'm actually starting out this review quite high. I'm go uh, the away jersey. Yeah, this is uh, this Nike template that we've seen now many, many, many times already. Um, I always wonder for a Brighton away color, what would be the best uh, with blue and white? What? It's not the turquoise with the black on there. I really would love that they choose a color where the crest actually would work fine. In many ways so yeah uh, this one also goes a little bit further, further down with uh, four stars I gotta say moving uh, now back north well, we have not been really north we're moving far uh, far up north with our first umber offering for Burnley um, Burnley has now a much more uh, much better looking sponsor uh, that's immediately an improvement. Uh, they go with the raglan sleeves for the, t uh, the typical Aston Villa type shirt, or you know, West Ham is the same, but I, th I say Aston Villa type because they are the originators of that style. I really like the pattern on the sleeves. Uh, that is something really, really, really nice. Uh, gives it a little bit of different feel. I'm not uh, so sold on the Raglan sleeves, but I think here it makes uh, that uh, it makes something re really nice. And I have to say, Umbro has always done well for Burnley, a uh, team that keeps up there, to be honest. So yeah, um, I actually want to go eight stars with this one. I think this is a really pleasing looking shirt. Um, let's look at the away jersey, which is white with uh, light blue pinstripes. That is actually a pretty nice move, I gotta say. Uh, really well done. I uh, even like the sleeve cuffs. Um, it's a little bit underselling the uh, maroon, although I think the sleeve cuffs, it looks black here, but I think the sleeve cuffs are maroon as is uh, here. So actually for an away jersey, this is also pretty smartly done. Again, sponsor, I would love if it's just spread X and, and the sports gone and maybe the X without the box, but you know, I understand uh, it's a smaller team, so you don't have as much say in how the sponsor logo looks. And even when you look at Arsenal, they cannot even um, say, please put a ni nicer logo. Emirates. Um, I'm gonna give this also eight stars. I, I, the pinstripe look is one of those that is uh, almost overused these days, but it always works, especially if it's nicely done, like uh, this one. Uh, the third jersey, yeah. Um, okay, we go with navy because we can. Uh, that's fine, and then we have a little bit maroon. Uh, 
uh, for some reason, reason I, I wish it was not navy, but it was a light, light blue. But you know, you have now um, uh, the navy with gold, which is always something really nice looking, uh, kind of has a, a royal feel to it, more so than black and gold in many ways, but it's also following a trend. Uh, the design is not very exciting. I think the color looks nice, but you know, with, with, with just outlining the sleeves like this Arsenal shirt here, uh, it is then rather boring overall and so I'm gonna go six stars and that's because uh, the colors actually look well. So moving a little bit over, we go to Leeds United. Last season I slammed Leeds United by taking a white shirt with um, blue Adidas stripe trapping and saying where is the yellow? Well this year it's the other way around. Where is the blue? Unless you look at the sponsors. Uh, I think Leeds would have so much uh, potential if you take the white and then you have a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, just play around with it. Uh, be playful. Do the thing that uh, uh, Adidas is so known for. One strap in uh, yellow, then blue, then yellow. I think this would look great. Also, maybe give us a color that's... I love the granddad color, don't get me wrong. But give us a little, a little bit more. Don't play around like this. It just looks too normal, too run-of-the-mill boring almost and I think this is where I'm going I'm, I'm going I'm not done it's not bad but it's almost too templatey Adidas in many in many ways so I'm sorry I, I'm gonna give it six stars uh, although I was thinking five as well but six then the away shirt yes here we get now a whole lot of blue I wish that all the accents were in yellow and not just like this, you know, again, Adidas temp, temp, temp with a little bit of uh, pattern on there, which Adidas loves to do. Uh, and it looks very, um, it looks, uh, how can I say, it looks very special. However, it's the same pattern of all those shirts, so uh, all the specialness is kind of lost there. So, yeah, um, it really bothers me that they went too much uh, white here, uh, but the shirt is over all right. Still, I think we gotta get save with six stars here as well. Uh, the, it could it could be better. And then the away jersey, yeah, where is the light purple coming from? I know that the coloration is on, it all makes kind of overall sense within the context of the shirt. But within the context of the club, I am not so sure. I loved last season, so away with, 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 with the blue and green, it did something hard back to a um, jersey that was uh, at least for me well liked uh, this purple one I cannot do much with it uh, that goes right in the four star bin same as the Ars Arsenal away uh, and in both cases I would argue it's because it looks lazy it does look lazy in the, in in a way although for Arsenal probably spent a whole lot of time doing it but yeah take the Ajax shirt put some light lighting bolts and let's uh, cop in copy nike nah, not for me we are believe it or not at the city team the reigning champions uh in this video and it's the last team already in this video uh, which i find kind of amazing and it is manchester city and i'm not a big fan of this season's general puma template However, there is something about this Manchester City shirt that I really, really, really love, although it looks so plain. But with all this, you know, if of, of, of course it celebrates the 10 years that uh, Sergio Aguero shot them to the title. That's why you have been in the call the 93-20 and then the 20 is also stylus that there's a 10 in there. And then you have this uh, digital uh, lettering box all over the shirt as a print which I find pretty cool and it gets even better in the Champions League when I use exactly this number style on the back and I had discussions with followers here and I honestly I don't want to discuss I think a lettering style should never be the you know drawing the eye or or or, or be the main feature but in this case it is super well done uh, and other than that, you get a very plain Manchester City shirt. I don't like necessarily the strap. Uh, the collar is very uh, 21 Puma, in meaning very wide, uh, very plain. Puma is very much for comfort. 
but I like that they took this idea of 9320 and kind of pulled it all over the shirt and you get a pretty nice shirt out there. Is it Queen's Essential City Home? No. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say, but you can guess uh, where the Freudian sleep was going. No, but uh, there's a lot to like here. I really gotta say there is a lot to like. I am gonna give this the highest grade in this video. I'm gonna go nine stars here. And I even have to say that I like the away jersey. The way, uh, yes, the crest is discolorated, but the way they have this chromey look on there, you know, you fade with the colors, it looks really, really nice. And that on a very simple template. Goes to show that if you use, um, if you use a template right and do something special, it, you know, there's no, it's a white shirt and it's just the applications give it a very special uh, look. I actually really, really love this. Uh, it, and also, I think the numbers do something very similar. It's too simple to be. I also gonna go, go nine, although I was really thinking 10, but this is a very interesting looking shirt. Manchester City having a really, really good look. Highway, it's all destroyed, all destroyed. So this was not the one team where I thought almost every shirt looks great. By the third shirt, which is of course down to the uh, now infamous Puma range or, or, already where we don't have a crest or yeah, we do have a crest. It's all, all over, uh, which looks a little bit interesting or slash weird. It's, it looks like a wallpaper and then you splash Man City. Just looks cheap. What what does what's saving it is of course dark blue, light blue is always a good combination. What bugs me though is that you know the Puma logo and the sponsor, the commercial details on this one just stick out. And I know this is part of the plan because all those shirts have the sponsors and the Puma logo really popping. Whereas the um, you know the club's colors are kind of hit in the uh, hidden in the branding, so uh, sponsors are always gonna tend to look out. It's a nice try. I don't totally hate it, but it's not a good shirt. Uh, I think this would look much better with a full color city crest somewhere. Maybe even right next to the Puma cat. And if you move the Puma over, I actually think you have got, you got something maybe going there. My opinion. Then it would be then it would complete a really good set. This way, I'm sorry, four stars. And that completes our first journey through the Premier League. Um, second journey will come in a few days your way part two i'll shoot it right after this one but you know i gonna stagger it a little bit because there's so many other things that are happening in any case i would like to know and i will pull out the poll i now that i have the community tab enabled i, I will put a poll where i would like to hear from you which set do you like the best um i also want to know from you uh which jerseys in here did you like where do you agree and where do you di disagree with me and yeah, in any case, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.